Hi, Lisa here, and today we're going to make a cute little scarf for your pet. This is the simplest project that you could possibly make for your pet. And what makes this so amazing is that we're making it easier and more accurate by using Martelli products. Again, it's a simple little square that we've turned into it where it's actually double sided. So, and what makes it unique is that I've created it so that you can slip this onto your dog or cat's collar and it's gonna stay in place and they can wear it for a while. It's not gonna be coming off, it's not tied on. So to make this, you're just gonna need a piece of fabric and you'll see of these here, I've got all different sizes. I've got from the smallest squares all the way to a large 18 inch square, an 18 and a half inch square. But today we're gonna to do 11 and a half inches. You just take your template, lay it on your fabric and then just cut around it. All right, I just finished cutting out my square with my Martelli 11 and a half inch template and using our Martelli 45 inch rotary cutter. So now I've got my perfect little square. So there's just a little bit of prep work that we need to do. I take my square and I go ahead and fold it from corner to corner. Then I'm gonna take my two inch by 12 inch ruler and I'm gonna set it right against the corner here that's on the edge. And with my rotary cutter, I'm gonna cut off that piece on each side. So I've got this side off and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side, right, right up against the edge. And we're just knocking off two inches off the end. So that's gonna give me a square that now has two of the corners knocked off. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we need to cover up this raw edge. So I'm gonna take it to my iron and I'm gonna do a, about a quarter of an inch fold on both sides and I'm gonna do it twice. So I'm gonna have one fold and then I'm gonna fold it over again on both sides and then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and I'm gonna stitch all the way across, stitch that down. Okay, so I went ahead and we got, now we folded it over twice and I just did a seam, just sewed it down on both sides. Now for the fun part. You're gonna take your um, square and now we're gonna fold it corner to corner. And all we're going to do is we're gonna do a quarter of an inch seam from the corner to the edge, corner to the edge. That, what we did here was we closed in that seam. So we're just gonna fold it, sew, sew it here to here, and then we're gonna flip it inside out because we will be able to get to that opening right here on this edge. Okay, so I've got it set up at the machine. We're gonna sew a quarter of an inch. I like to start from the point and work towards where we had done our little seam. So I'm sew here and then I'm gonna sew it back to here and I'm gonna back tack at the ends. And I'm doing a quarter of an inch. Now I flipped it over so I can do the other side, a quarter of an inch. And you could take a moment and go ahead and trim off your corner right here so you have a nice point. And then flip it from this opening, just go ahead and flip it out. What we're gonna do next after we have it all the way out is that we're gonna put, do a top stitch all the way around. And then we're gonna create the pocket that the, your, your pet's collar will fit through. Once you have it all the way out, you can go ahead and take it to your iron and press it. I can just go ahead and push it all the way out. I like this one here because not only are you gonna have precision with the Martelli template, but it's double-sided. So it's not just one thin piece of fabric. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna top stitch from here all the way to the point and all the way back. And then we're gonna sew a line, a stitch all the way across. That's gonna create our pocket and to give it a little bit more durability, then I sew a second seam all the way through. But before you do that, just make sure whichever pet that you're putting on their collar, make sure that their collar will fit in here. You might not need to do that second seam. I'm just gonna do an eighth of an inch stitch. And what I like to do is I like to make my stitches to be a little bit bigger. Okay. 
Now here's where I just keep my needle down. I'm going to pivot it around. And I am going to follow one of the lines on the bed of my machine and I'm going to sew all the way across to the other side. Now I've just created that pocket. And if you want to add another decorative stitch, you can go ahead and add another stitch right here. I'm going to go ahead and add another inch right here. And I'm going to do a back tack. And that's all there is to it. You could make up a whole bunch of these. You can make them seasonal. You can, you know, make whatever you want to do with them. Just a great, easy little project for you to be able to make.